Welcome to Pot Apostle. Help us build the kingdom of God. Like, subscribe, and share. So this, uh, this story of the Good Samaritan, right? Is he described as the Good Samaritan? Does it ever say the Good Samaritan or he did something good? What does it say? It says he treated him with mercy. You know, uh, if we went straight off this, this, if we just kind of named this story from what we read, we would call him the merciful Samaritan. But this merciful Samaritan is held up by Jesus as an example, getting back to the original question. What was the original question? A scholar of the law stood up to test Jesus and said, teacher, what was the question? What must I do? What must I do to inherit eternal life? And then the answer is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And the next question is, who's my neighbor? And, uh, and so we have this answer. This is the answer to the question, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And, and, and we have two people that failed in the story. Did you notice that? That we had two people that did not treat him with mercy. They just walked on by. They had somewhere to go. Trust me, I've had places to go in my life many times and just walked on by. You know, this story, you know, we, we should be humbled by this story. We should be humbled, we should be challenged. We should meditate on this story. This, we, this story should become part of our being. When we think about what must I do to be saved? What must I do to inherit eternal life? What are you calling me to, Lord? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does. You know, whenever, whenever somebody questions Jesus in the gospel, man, it, we should pay attention to the answer. There are lots of people giving answers for Jesus that don't have a clue what they're talking about. So meditating on our Lord and his life and his, his mission and his ministry what is the rosary? It's a meditation on our Lord and his life, isn't it? It's a meditation on the mysteries, the incarnation, the crucifixion, the resurrection, his baptism, the Holy Eucharist. We meditate on these things. They become part of, they, we soak ourselves in them. We have these stories in us that we read, the gospel stories. And the rosary is a meditation on those things, isn't it? It's what it's supposed to be. To be seeped in it. It permeates us. Meditating on the gospel over and over and over and over again. from a sermon by St. Bernard Abbott. The child to be born of you will be called holy, the son of God, the fountain of wisdom, the word of the father on high. Through you, blessed virgin, the word will become flesh so that even though, as he says, I am in the father and the father is in me, it is still true for him to say, I came forth from God and am here. In the beginning was the word and the spring was gushing forth, yet still within himself, Indeed, the word was with God, truly dwelling in inaccessible light. And the Lord said from the beginning, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. Yet your thought was locked within you and whatever you thought we did not know. For who knew the mind of the Lord or who was his counselor? And the word was made flesh and dwells among us. But how you ask was this done? He lay in a manger. He rested on the virgin's breath, breast. 
He preached on a mountain. He spent a night in prayer. He hung on a cross. He grew, he, he grew pale in death. He roamed free among the dead. He ruled over those in hell. He rose on the third day. He showed his apostles his wounds, the signs of his victory. In, his, in their presence, he ascended to the sanctuary in heaven. Do we ever meditate on those things? Could you rattle those things off? The life of our Lord, his ministry, his greatness. You know, my brothers and sisters, we get to know Jesus and the answers to these questions. What must I do by meditating on the gospels? And the rosary is a beautiful gift to us to help us learn and meditate on the gospels.